Today, I have brought a very special guest to talk about overcoming anxiety and what it was like talking about it on such a large platform. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I, as you can see, I'm joined by a very special guest. For the few people who do not know you, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm the specialist of guests. The, all, the most the all. almighty. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Swoop, and yeah. Happy to be here. Happy what do you What do you do on your channel? Explain your channel to these folks on Yeah, here. in like simplistic terms, it's a kind of scripted life meets reality meets craziness. Mm -hmm. um, I've most often compared to like if Casey Neistat and Ryan Higa had a love child. Ooh. Um, so it's very cinematic. I do short films, um, yeah. a lot of serious work, but I do a lot of comedy and a lot of roasts. Um, yeah. And then crazy things like crashing my subscriber's wedding, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. And, and she. <laughs> Also, as well as Dirk behind the camera, did an uh, awesome remix of Shane Dawson's laugh. Yes. I'll plug a clip of that right here. What if his laugh triggers the algorithm? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what if we sample his laugh and make a beat just using his laugh? Okay, I like that part. Right? And then we could like go blast it in the streets of Los Angeles. I like that part also. See if we can hypnotize people. Understood. Oh, come on, let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> 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 so, um, so yeah, anyways, uh, I have followed Swoop since everybody was sharing this video about how you had a different channel that was 600,000? It was about 630,000 yeah. uh, subscribers. YouTube had some crazy, you explained it as like this weird like bolt of lightning. Yes. Stop going out to people, you made a new channel. But anyways, you, what sparked my interest again was you made a short film about living with depression and anxiety. Yes. Which even won an award. It did. That was pretty sweet. So let me ask you this, because something that I try to talk to people about, a lot of people are afraid to open up about these things and share their story. What was it like for you to capture that? Especially like the scene where it was like you having the breakdown and calling your mom, like, were you scared to put that out there? You know, it was it was a it was one of those weird things. If I had time to think about it, then I probably would have been. Mm -hmm. um, but just the circumstances surrounding that, I was so deep in that darkness, um, mm -hmm. and which is where I got the title, "Lost in Darkness." Yeah. That's how I felt, and I was so like I knew just for feeding the algorithm and the content and the new channel that I had to put up something. But that was a particularly bad week for me mentally, mm. and I knew well I can't not post something because I feel a slave to this machine so I just documented what I was going through mm -hmm. and made the film around it and I was like I have to upload so I guess I'm just gonna put this out there and like I was just so mentally just messed up and dark that like I didn't even think about like should I be nervous about this or yeah should I be scared to do this I was just like I, I just, nothing of that was processing, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then sometimes it's just like, screw it. You know, when my brain's in a million places, like yeah, you just, logic goes out the window, it's like, but it, it, it worked out, right? It, so <laughs> like, and then you made your video about going to Buffer Fest, and like, one of the things, cause I did some reviews of your short film, yes. and like, one of the things that I love the most, because I was afraid to share my story for a long, long, long time, right. but seeing all the, the people coming up to you and thanking you, like, did that, like, did that kind of make it worth it? And like, oh. what was that impact like, knowing that your story connected with other people and they said it helped or whatever it was? I literally just got like goosebumps still mm -hmm. thinking about it. No, I mean, that made it everything. Cause it wasn't, it took it beyond this thing of like, here's my own therapy in a sense, mm -hmm. not like, therapy therapy but yeah. you know the own personal stuff that we yeah. do for ourselves for me is creating and mm -hmm. so that was also part of my process when I created the film I was like I have to create because that's the only thing that I can like function in right now mm -hmm. but it took it beyond this is just something about me trying to help me in that now I saw all of these people and like yeah I was like I was terrified when I premiered it at, at the festival yeah. and I thought everyone's gonna hate it no one's gonna understand so when I had that kind of response it was like 
Like, yeah. It was intense, and then I also realized, like, dang, like, I think almost everybody on the planet deals mm -hmm. with, not, maybe not to that extent, mm -hmm. but to some degree, everyone deals with levels of depression or some type yeah. of anxiousness or just something. Like, there's so many people, except for Dirt back here, he's the most bubbly Just person chill on the planet. constantly. Oh my gosh, drive me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? Give me the secret sauce. Oh my gosh. I have no soul. <laughs> Did, so that, that makes me think of something else. Did it help you not feel so alone when you realize yes. other people? Yeah, that, that was the key. And like my, my whole message with the film and like what I said at the event was, I feel like I'm, I've never referenced like the premiere this much. I feel like I'm like- Do it, that, this is your about, platform to no, do it. No, it's weird, it's weird, it's totally weird. Um, but the whole message was like, it's okay to not be okay mm -hmm. because so much of the time when I would go through like these really emotional periods, people like, everything's gonna be okay. Like it's okay, everything's gonna yeah. be okay. And it's like, I don't need to hear that right now. I need to mm -hmm. just know that it's okay that I feel like total crap right now. Yeah. And so when other people were saying the same thing and they mm -hmm. were encouraged by that, mm -hmm. then it was like, okay, this is, this is the the message, you know. Yeah. I think people need to hear, and it made me feel like, yes, yeah. everyone else has not everyone, but a lot of people have bad stuff, and now I'm not the only one going through this. So, what would you suggest? Because like I, like I try to teach people like there's there's a reason why I make my videos. Like it feels good when I see other people are benefiting from it, or if I'm going through my own thing, that I'm not alone. But I tell people like you don't got to start a YouTube channel, you don't got to make. <laughs> a short film and like go to Buffer no, Festival. No. Like, what have you suggested to people or what do you suggest to people like to just kind of get their message out there so they don't feel so alone? I think it's important to number one, know that you don't, I don't think you have to get your message out there. Okay. Like, I don't think that if someone's going, dealing with anxiety or depression or, or whatever it is, I don't think that it, you have to make it public in order to uh -huh. feel better. I think it's important to get your message of what you're feeling to someone who cares about you. Okay. So it doesn't have to be this big forum. You don't have to start a YouTube channel. You know what, please don't if like you, <laughs> <laughs> if you're not prepared for everything that comes with that, then you know, think about that. Not everyone has to be on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Um, because it will beat you, it'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> hey, no worries, I bleep for monetization <laughs> <Okay>. reasons. <laughs> Um, I think it's most important first to get the message of your personal feelings to a family member or to a therapist. To somebody. Or to somebody who's there to listen mm -hmm. and to be a support system mm -hmm. for you. And then if you feel like, I want to share this with more people, that maybe my thoughts, feelings will help other people. Yeah. Then do that however you are most naturally compelled. If you're a writer, write something. Yeah. Do a blog, send a tweet. You know, it doesn't have to be something big or epic or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It can reach just somebody. And that's right. that's something that I've learned too. Like, we're all in different stages. Like when, I'm, like, when I was, you know, in the start of my mental health journey, it's like, I can't help anybody, just keep helping me, keep helping me. Mm -hmm. It took me a couple of years until I got to a place where I'm like, okay, maybe my message can help somebody else, right. you know? Yeah. One last thing I wanna ask you to, before finding out like what you've been doing since that film sure. is like, you're right, like it's okay to not be okay. And I don't know if you've struggled with this. I think, I think in one of your follow-up videos you talked about this, but have you ever realized, cause I've talked about this recently, have you ever run into something where like you have a difficult time saying it's okay to be okay because your brain is always so chaotic so then when you start working on yourself your mind's not used to it and it's like looking for something to get anxious about yeah <laughs> my life summed up where's the tea yeah <laughs> um yeah i think i'm like i'm so good at beating myself up mm -hmm. even when something is going well or going great right and so i'm always i feel like i'm I don't want to say always. I don't. I don't want to be that person who like blankets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I used to always be that person. Yeah. Trying to do better. <laughs> um, but even like we've been talking about the premiere and the film stuff. Um, even when like that was a very big moment for me um, mm -hmm. as you know a creative, mm -hmm. and I beat the crap out of myself because it's like, well, how am I ever going to live up to this again? Or I'll never make something that you know compelling again. Yeah. Or like you know, and instead of 
enjoying that moment of like this is good for you yeah. it was like okay but where's the problem so that I can dwell on those and yeah I do that constantly so yeah. I have to have people around me like dirt or you know people who are close to me remind me mm -hmm. oh but hey like you have a camera that you got to make a film with like you have ability yep. to make stuff and that's mm -hmm. really cool and so like celebrate yeah. those things instead of focusing so much on but something might go wrong at any point in time. yeah yeah exactly my, my girlfriend's that person for me she yeah. she snaps me right back to reality yeah so we first met in person at vid summit which was in october and i was after buffer festival and everything and i was kind of like hey how's it going now and stuff and now it's been a couple months more so like you know although neither one of us are licensed professionals but we've both dealt with that like what are some things that you've done to kind of work on your anxiety or depression that might help somebody else maybe it right. might help me yeah like what are some of the things that you've done well I, 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 everything I'd say is with the caveat of like I'm not out of the woods okay. yet, um, and that I think it's it's a long process. And for me, having that sort of breakdown moment that I had, which happened in August, July, August, mm -hmm. I've still deal with quite a lot of those feelings often, but mm -hmm. I'm now figuring out ways to put them in check more. So one of the things that I'm actually actively doing now is I have a counselor. Um, oh, okay. And so that's, it's a, it's an interesting, strange world yeah. <laughs> for me. Um, but that helps a lot just actually having a licensed professional yes. who is like guiding me through you mm -hmm. know just someone i check in with um so that's definitely i know people i've always kind of been like on the fence about therapy mm -hmm. and like actual therapy therapy yeah. and uh i never wanted it to be something where i'm like oh well my therapist says you know and yeah. it's like i don't want to like, <laughs> be you know like i just Ugh. Yeah. But that has helped quite a lot. How, it, how often do you see your counselor? Is it monthly, weekly, uh, biweekly? It's weekly. It's with BetterHelp, actually. I was about um, to say, I just started using a therapist through BetterHelp. By the way, not sponsored, <laughs> but like I'm the mental health guy. And just real quick, I'm just going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think? Tell you my thing real quick. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I was reluctant to getting help because, like, I'm the mental health guy. Sure. Like, why, why should I get help? Yeah. And especially with my, my channel growth and some other things going on, I'm like, Chris, take your own dang advice. Because I, mm -hmm. even though I preach it, some of the things that you're talking about, like, I don't want to be like, well, my family, yeah. you know? But it's it's been so beneficial. Like, and through BetterHelp, I get to text and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And again, not sponsored, but like, I'll be like in it and then I check it and I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. she just dropped some truth on me, yeah, you yeah. know? And it's been, it's been great for me because I still need to learn sure. stuff about myself. Yeah. So yeah, we all do. What, what have they kind of helped you with? Is it identifying things, giving you coping skills? Like what, or well, is it just yeah. someone to talk to? Yeah. Well, it's funny. Like, well, as far as like working with a therapist, just having more focus and for me it's almost things like giving me homework in a sense that like mm -hmm. which i kind of need that push sometimes yeah. so like actually number one just schedule scheduling something where like this is the hour of the week that i am specifically going to be working on my mental health yeah. because i have to because i've scheduled a call with a therapist yeah um so that has been really good and then we've gotten into you know mindfulness and meditation and yeah. like all of those things that i was never like oh meditation because it's but having someone explain to me that it's not meant to just instantly fix you, like you need to just take two minutes a day or yeah. three times a day if you can, or like just a couple of minutes and just quiet everything mm -hmm. and just be in the be moment. Be in yourself. Do you use like an app for meditation? I use or? Calm is like my... Me too. I We're literally... using all the same things. <laughs> Stop stealing my move. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I just put like rain sounds on yeah. and then I have a little timer and then I just sit with it and I try. It's very still hard because I'm yeah. like stressed and like thinking about things, but I just try to clear the mind a little bit yeah. um, and that helps. But then honestly, going outside was a big one for me because mm. as a filmmaker and an editor i'm like locked to my computer mm -hmm. so much and like you know i literally just finished being awake for 56 hours working on a project yeah we were like trying to figure this out and she's, yeah. she's a, a busy woman um so sleeping more regularly has been a big one for me a big one or a big challenge 
it's a big challenge and I've recognized how important that is for my health. Okay. So when I had like the worst anxiety is when I wasn't sleeping mm. um, or when I wasn't sleeping on a consistent schedule. And then just being locked into one surrounding was really becoming mm -hmm. a burden. So just taking five minutes to go for a walk outside and mm -hmm. just being looking at nature mm -hmm. actually really helps. Petting my cat. Yes, <laughs> cats quite are great. a lot. Um, and journaling and just writing out the thoughts for me it's and that was kind of yeah. creating you know on camera was like i'm going to spew all of this out so that i can look back on it when i'm in my right mind mm -hmm. and recognize how irrational it is so yes then, yes please yeah. like listen to that like it's so important like that's that's a big thing for me is like i've used uh some apps for like mood tracking mm -hmm. and stuff and what it helps me with is knowing that these things don't last forever right so if like on monday i'm having a really bad day and i write that down then tuesday wednesday thursday friday great days saturday a bad day i can look back through the week and say oh this is something that passes mm -hmm. this isn't like because when we're in it sometimes it feels like we're going to be in it forever, forever literally. yeah so when you can yeah. look back at that and by the way that's what i appreciate about your channel it's like when you kind of have these like journaling ideas like you film it and yeah. Yeah, yeah. has anybody ever told you that, that they've used that or tried it uh as far as like your subscribers or viewers tried it, what the tried. journaling that yes. you do yeah yeah yeah. no i've gotten Good. a lot a lot of feedback about that and there are people who like it, 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 not everyone wants to journal right but even people are like oh well i just watched that letter that you wrote to us when i'm feeling yeah. down um and that alone helps um which is great but just expressing in some form of way what you're feeling i think documenting when you're in the midst of the darkness mm -hmm. is important. It's been one of the most important things for me so that I, yeah, then I can look and be like, okay, this is not rational. You know, the other big thing, mm -hmm. I know I feel like a long run on sentence, sorry y'all. Do, uh, do thing, girl. <laughs> another big thing that has really helped me was something that my mom said to me. <clears throat> and it was this idea about, you would never say the things that you say to yourself to me, your mother, or to mm. your best friend. My mom's like my, my best friend, we're very yeah. close. So she's like, you would never say those awful things that you say to yourself to me, mm -hmm. so why are you saying it to yourself? Yeah. And so remembering that has been huge for me. Like when I have these like, I'm awful, I'm no good, I can't do anything yeah. right, yeah. or you know, I'm failing at everything, it's like, well, I would never tell my mother that. I would never tell my best friend that. Yeah. I would just be supportive. Something that I hear a lot, like there's, uh, I, I heard this somewhere, there's like common sense and then there's common action, right? So like it's common sense to be like, okay, you wouldn't say that to somebody mm -hmm. else. Is it hard to like remember that? Is it hard to practice that? Or is it hard to be like, well, I'm not amazing like my mother. Cause I get it. Like yeah, I think yeah. about that, like me, it's my son. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't say that stuff to him, sure. you know? But sometimes like, well, my son's like awesome and amazing. I'm not, you know? So yeah, is yeah, that yeah. is that difficult or is it hard to remember to do that when you're in the midst of it? Yeah, I mean, nothing is foolproof and we're gonna fail at mm -hmm. these things. Whatever element you take, whether I want to journal or I want to meditate, you're going to fail. Like that's, we're humans, that's what we do. Yeah. So, but you fail less at at it the more you do it because mm. you're developing habits with it so just like I've spent a lifetime developing the habit of beating myself up and telling uh. myself that I suck at everything and so now yeah I have to recognize it's gonna take some time uh. for me to develop the habits of saying you're not that bad yeah you're okay <laughs> that's awesome so so what we're gonna do we're gonna follow up again at some point and yeah. see if that habit but you're absolutely right and that that's what I hope everybody's takeaway is one of the many takeaways is that this stuff takes time yes you know you don't just start i i equate it to like going to the gym like i started going to the gym don't know if you noticed but anyways like imagine if i went to the gym once and i'm like well i don't go to six pack right like you would never do that so like with your mind if you start meditating or you start therapy or whatever it is or you start journaling you're not going to see that result in like a day what i found and this is why i've been teaching people is you'll most likely have other people in your life notice that you're doing better before you even do. Yeah. Has anybody like noticed in your life that you're, you seem a little bit better? Yeah, well, yes, yes and no. Cause I still, I literally, I still have ups and downs, right? Yeah. Like I had a very down moment just yesterday. Yeah. Um, and so 
yes in that I will get encouragement like from Dirt or from my mom who's mm. like, you know, just the people who are, I, I don't let a lot of people in to be like extremely close yeah. um, to who really know me. Yeah. And so there's just a small handful. Um, but when, yeah, when I'm acting a little happier, then I get that kind of reinforcement. Yeah. And then when I go back to the old stuff, the old self, uh, then I get just little reminders of like, hey, remember how you're not that bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we think about that a yeah, little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> By the way, and that's a tip for all of you. If you have someone in your life who's like working on themselves, like make sure you try to celebrate their successes. Like yeah. I remember somebody told me, like they hadn't seen me in a few months when I was really starting, to, when I got sober and started working on my mental health. It was like a month or two later, they're like, Chris, I haven't seen you smile this much ever. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, you know, some, yeah. something's happening. Right. You know? And it was good that they pointed it out to you. Yeah, and then, that's and yeah. because here's the thing. We get and for those of you who are neuroscience nerds, you get little spurts of dopamine when people compliment you. Yes. You know what I mean? Well I'm yeah. like, girl, your makeup is looking bomb today. Yeah. Little spurt of dopamine. So go compliment somebody. You're doing amazing too. So look, boom, just just handing out dopamine, you know? Give you know, me some more, give me some more, give me some more. <laughs> so yeah, is there any final advice that you want to give to anybody out there or tips or a message of hope to anybody out there who might be struggling and they're lost in the darkness? Yes, I think it's just it's important to always remember that it is okay to not be okay and that you just work on coming to a place where you can Dis decide in your own mind and acknowledge I'm not okay right now but this isn't going to last forever mm -hmm. because you have had moments in your life that were happy were okay um, and that eventually you can get back to that but it's just going to take a little bit of practice of loving yourself a little bit more as cliche as that sounds and I hate saying that kind of stuff mm -hmm. um, but just like we work a job just like we work you know if you're raising kids or you're going to school and we dedicate our time to all of these life things we also have to dedicate some time to the mind and keeping that health in check but you are absolutely not alone ever if you're not feeling okay and it's okay to be not okay sometimes and just kind of stew in that a while recognize here I am I accept it this is what's happening but this isn't going to be forever exactly and I'm gonna put a bunch of your social media links down in the description what platforms are you on where can people find you at YouTube is the big one uh, and Twitter and mm -hmm. Instagram and yeah I think that's those are the big ones okay well those are all gonna be down in the description <laughs> below so make sure you go check out the channel I'll also link your short film down there I did a review of it too maybe I'll link that down in the description too all the links all right but again Again, you guys aren't alone. Keep coming back. Check out Swoop's progress over on her channel, and we'll see you next time.